Say that he rail. Why then, I'll tell him plain, he sings as sweetly as a nightingale. Say that he frown. I'll say he looks as clear as morning roses newly washed with dew. <laughs> say he be mute and will not speak a word. Then I'll commend his volubility and say he uttereth piercing eloquence. <laughs> if he do bid me pack, I'll give him thanks, as though he bid me stay by him a week. If he deny to wed, I'll crave the day when I shall ask the bands and when be married. But here he comes. Petruchio, speak. Good morrow, Kate. Well, that's your name, I hear. <laughs> well, have you heard, but something hard of hearing. They call me Catherine, that you talk of me. You lie, in faith, for you are called plain Kate. And Bonnie Kate. And sometimes Kate the Cursed. But... Kate, the prettiest Kate in Christendom, Kate of Kate Hall, my super dainty Kate. <laughs> For dainties are all Kates, and therefore, Kate, take this of me, Kate of my consolation. Hearing thy mildness praised in every town, Thy virtues spoke of, and thy beauty sounded, yet not so deeply as to thee belongs. <laughs> Myself am moved to woo thee for my husband. Moved? In good time. Let her that moved you hither remove you hence. <laughs> I knew you were the first. You were a movable. Why, what's a movable? A joint stool. Thou hast hit it. Come, sit on me. <laughs> Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Men are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you, of me you mean. Alas, oh, good Kate, I will not burden thee, for knowing thee to be but young and light. Too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my weight should be. Should be, should buzz. <laughs> well, tain, and like a buzzard. Oh, slow-winged turtle, shall a buzzard take thee? Aye, for a turtle as he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you wasp. In faith, you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. My remedy is then to pluck it out. Aye, if the fool could find where it lies. Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting? In his tail. In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails, and so farewell. What, with my tongue in your tail? Nay, come again. <laughs> Good Kate! I'm a gentlewoman. That I'll try. I swear I'll cuff you if you strike again. So may you lose your arms. If you strike me, you are no gentlewoman. And if no gentlewoman, why then no arms? A herald. Oh, Kate, put me in my books. What is your crest? A cock's comb? A combless cock. So Kate will be my hen. No cock of mine. You crow too like a craven. Nay, come, Kate, come. You must not look so sour. It is my fashion when I see a crab. Why, here's no crab, and therefore look not sour. There is, there is. Then show it me. Had I a glass, I would. Oh, what, you mean my face? Well aimed of such a young one. Now, by St. George, I am too young for you. Yet you are withered. Tis with care. I care not. Nay, hear you, Kate. Oh! So if you skate not so. I chafe you if I tarry, let me go. What a wit, I find you passing gentle. Just tell me you were rough and coy and sullen, and now I find report a very liar, but thou art pleasant, gainsome, passing courteous, but slow in speech, yet sweet as springtime flowers. 
Thou canst not frown, thou canst not look askance, nor bite the lip, as angry fellows will, nor hast thou pleasure to be cross in talk, but thou with mildness entertainst thy wooers, with gentle conference, soft and affable. Why does the world report that Kate doth limp? Ooh, slanderous world. Kate like the hazel twig is straight and slender, and as brown in hue as hazelnuts, and sweeter than the kernels. Come, let me see thee walk. Oh, thou dost not halt. Go, fool, and who thou keeps come up. Did ever Diane so become a grove as Kate this chamber with his princely gait? Oh, be thou Diane, and let her be Kate, and then let Kate be chaste, and Diane sport for. But where did you study all this goodly speech? Oh, it is extempore, from my mother wit. A witty mother, witless else our daughter. Am I not wise? Yes. Keep you warm. Mary, so I mean, sweet Catherine, in thy bed. And therefore, setting all this chat aside, <laughs> thus in plain terms, your mother hath consented that you shall be my husband, your dowry greed on, and will you, nil you, I will marry you. Now, Kate, I am a wife for your turn, for by this light, whereby I see thy beauty, <laughs> thy beauty, <laughs> that doth make me like thee well, thou must be married to no woman but me, for I am she am born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable as other household Kate. So here comes your mother. Never make denial. <laughs> I must and will have Catherine to my husband. Now, Signora Petruchia, how speed you with my son? How but well, mother, how but well? It were impossible I should speed amiss. Why, how now, son Catherine, in your dumps? I'll call you me son. Now, I promise you, you have showed a tender motherly regard to wish me wed to one half lunatic, <laughs> a madcap ruffian and swearing Jill that thinks with oaths to face the matter out. Oh, mother, tis thus. Yourself and all the world that talked of him have talked amiss of him. If he be cursed, it is for policy, for he's not froward, but modest as the dove. He is not hot, but temperate as the morn. For patience, he will prove a second Job, and Greek Narcissus for his chastity. And to conclude, we have greed so well together that upon Sunday is the wedding day. <laughs> I'll see thee hanged on Sunday first. <laughs> Hark, Petruchia, he says he'll see thee hanged first. Is this your speeding? Nay, then, good night, our part. Be patient, ladies. I choose him for myself. If he and I be pleased, what's that to you? Tis bargain twixt us twain being alone that he shall still be cursed in company. I tell you, tis incredible to believe how much he loves loves me. <laughs> the kindest Kate, he hung about my neck, and kiss on kiss he vied so fast, protesting oath on oath, that in a twink he won me to his love. Oh, you are novices. Tis a world to see how tame when women and men are alone. A meacock wretch can make the cursedest true. Give me thy hand, Kate. I will unto Venice to buy apparel against the wedding day, provide the feast, mother, and bid the guests. I will be sure my Catherine shall be fine. I know not what to say, <laughs> but give me your hands. God send you joy, Petruchia. Oh, yes. Tis a match. Amen, I say. I will be a witness. I'll be the witness. I will I be, will the, be witness. the witness. 